When the White family heard about the revival at Asbury University, they canceled their weekend plans, loaded up their RV, and drove 10 hours to Kentucky to witness the move of the Holy Spirit for themselves. It was, literally, <laughs> it was the best night of my life. I loved it. 11-year-old Helen White, the oldest of four children, described her experience inside the revival. It was beautiful. Mm -hmm. It was so simple, such simple worship, but it, it felt so holy. I pray every night and thank the Lord that I got to go. While there, Helen says God miraculously healed her from celiac disease and eosinophilic esophagitis, or EOE. This one guy, he prayed for me of my EOE and I just felt this tingling in my hands and my feet and my whole body and I actually was healed. Helen's mom, Christina, joined in the prayer for her daughter's healing. I'm just praying quietly and watching her interact with this prayer minister and she's saying, my hands are tingling. Okay, now I feel it to my elbows and we would thank God and keep praying. And then she said, my whole body feels like it's electric. I don't have to know what was happening in that moment because I know God was there. I know that was a touch from the spirit and I know that he is moving. The first miracle God performed involved getting the family and friends past the lines, then some of them inside the chapel. As they pulled their RV into the small town of Wilmore, signs greeted them with a message to turn around because the revival was at capacity. We just started praying. I said, Lord, you've gotten us this far. If we need to watch, watch the live stream, we will. But would you just make a way? Would you make a way for us to come and encounter you and to be in your presence? Four of them set out on foot and were led to a door for students and children. We walked up and they immediately were like, is there any party of four here? And we were right there and we walked right in. It was one of those moments where Jesus was saying like, let the little children come to me. Like, let the children come to me. And I kind of knew right then, I think we're here for my girls to be here. They stayed in the chapel for five hours, soaking in the presence of the Holy Spirit. And Helen even had an opportunity to read her favorite verse aloud, Psalm 91. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. What have you taken from this experience? I mean, I've always known the Lord my whole life, but really, I feel like I met him. Um, at Asbury and really devoted my life to him here. And so I feel like I definitely took, took that home. And um, the hunger and boldness, that too, and the healing. Christina believes the Asbury revival is just the beginning. There is a, a purification that's happening and a holiness that's coming. I think that this younger generation has a huge part to play. I can't be the same after I've encountered a genuine touch from the Lord. And yeah. I know that that's true for the other people who are in the room. Um, and honestly, just for everywhere that the Lord is moving. All of Christina's kids say they felt God's power and presence. I think it, the Holy Spirit was definitely there. And it's, yeah, it was really cool. Even the ones who didn't make it inside. It just felt like God was in that place. Even he didn't have to be in that exact room, but he was also sharing his love outside of the room. Christina tells CBN News she has a sense of expectancy without expectation that God is going to keep spreading this revival around the country. While the Whites are glad they went to Kentucky, they believe revival can break out anywhere. They're hoping and expecting it continues to spread to more college campuses, like right here at Regent University. Reporting from Virginia, Abigail Robertson, CBN News. Incredible story. Yeah, Incredible I like story. how, you know, we covered this extensively during yeah. the revival, and it's mm -hmm. nice to bring stories about since the revival, mm -hmm. um, where people were gathering so often on campus. What has happened to people since who were there? Yeah, definitely. And something that, that struck me while I was watching that piece is something that Abigail's, I believe her name was Abigail, what, what the mother said in the piece. And she said, you know, children have a part to play in this revival. Like the younger generations have a huge part to play. And that's actually something that I've yeah. been hearing from several different um, prophetic individuals who move in the prophetic and kind of release prophetic words. And of course, test every prophetic word to the word of God and if it actually happens. But one of the biggest things people are saying is that, yeah, the younger generation, children specifically, mm -hmm 
will be experiencing a move of the Lord that adults will almost be like envious of, and then it will come to our hearts. You know, the word says out of the mouth of babes, you know, let the little children come to me. So I believe it, I believe it. Yeah, I like what Helen's brother said there, that little guy, how he said it wasn't, you know, God's not just moving in that room. I mean, for a lot of people, they wanted to get to Asbury, couldn't go. And it's like, I was struck when you got back from Israel last year Mm -hmm. and you said Israel was phenomenal and wonderful and it did so much for your faith. Mm -hmm. However, you came back saying as wonderful as Israel is and Mm -hmm. was, people can experience the presence and move of God in their home, in their kitchen. You don't have to go to Israel for it. You were the first person that I've heard say that coming back. Really? Wow. Well, actually, it's it's funny that you mentioned that because literally this week, last year, Mm -hmm. I was there in Israel. And it's, it's, I still stand by that, you know, just because I think we can get so caught up in, oh, God can only yeah. move this way if I'm yeah. in, at this location. Or in that university. Or that university or that church, because there's a lot of healing going on. Mm-hmm. The Lord can move right now. The Lord can move yeah. in your own home, as Andrew said. So yeah, just keep that in mind. Mm-hmm. Hey everyone, I'm Ashley Key. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so we can reach more people with encouraging content like you just watched and so you never miss a beat. See you next time and God bless.